Hello, love beings, great beings of love and joy and peace. We love you and we are with you. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning here. And the trees are all the angels. Actually, they're angels in disguise. And they're right here with us, as well as all the angels and all higher selves. Whenever we do these updates, all of you are always here with us, as well as everybody from the ships. Um, their energy is always present. So that's what gets comes through these transmissions. So let's get on with the update. We love you so. The Galactic Free Press update. A new golden age is arriving. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update with love from the Galactic Center, the real news, and the whole truth. Greetings, love beings. In our last update, we shared July was full of surprises, and our upcoming alignments are coming up for just that. The excitement for those who understand what is truly unfolding is building on the planet. What we are now successfully moving into is planetary unity consciousness with the end of duality. A new golden age is arriving. Deep change and transformation is underway. This is the destiny of planet Earth, equal heart. Quoted from Karen Dunan. The physical waking world now preparing for the shattering of containment in truth and the elevation of a species that has been kept in the dark for aeons. Those who sought to contain and suppress, working to contain through frequency, well, this frequency patterning is now no longer supported upon planet Earth, and her children will now be asked to anchor truth to new levels once this frequency pattern is shattered from around the planet's core. This shattering will be done in truth, and we'll begin with the alignment of the stars. For all are one and all just are. The dawn of the new golden age of humankind now approaches. And many of you may feel this within your being. We call out to the galactic part of self. That part that is independent of the human form. We ask for this part to remember why you incarnated into this race and why you have chosen the life path that you have chosen. The training of the new golden age of humankind, now released from the cellular structure of the human vehicle, will see new paradigms and new ways of living and creating on planet Earth, released into the consciousness of humanity. That which has confined and contained dissolved in truth. The time of walking in death is over. The time of walking in grief is over. The time of walking in hardship is over. For a new human is now born upon the planetary system of Earth in truth. This new human will remember who they are. They will walk the planet in truth and they will breathe life back into all, for all are one. We are the energies of, of the Plidians, and we reach out to all at this time. We stand with our brothers and our sisters in truth, no matter what their race or their color, for truth is everyone in equality. We stand with all as all now, prepared to welcome the human race to the physical reality which is truth. Be at peace, dear ones, for all just is, and you are this truth. End of quote. Humanity will accomplish the incredible, and this is set in stone. 
On the actual update, and you can follow the link below on the YouTube video, we have a picture of a heart medicine wheel which was built in 10 days and completed on July 17, 2010 for the anniversary of the first Fire the Grid event, which was 7-1707. This was in service to humanity and to activate all vortexes across the planet when the moment was right. And this moment has come. Vortexes all over the planet will be lighting up as we head into some rare astrological alignments with the beginning of a planetary new year in the yellow galactic seed, the day out of time, and with an intense Lion's Gate opening. All of these events are occurring synchronistically, synchronistically <laughs> and are all part of this next facet of the divine plan. The spiral is going up, and the new earth manifests into physicality. Quoted from the Earth Allies, Humanity is here to accomplish the incredible. Their destiny is to succeed in a complete planetary awakening on planet Earth equal heart. And indeed, in many ways, the truth of this manifestation is already making its presence known as we have shown up here in honor of humanity succeeding in loving themselves and one another, therefore raising themselves up together into love everywhere present, 5D reality. <clears throat> Quoted from Laura Bruno, we're coming up to a super rare astro alignment on July 17th. The grand trine of Jupiter in Cancer, Saturn in Scorpio, and Neptune in Pisces. All on five degrees of those signs, if you know your chart. <clears throat> We're already feeling the influence of it now, and have been all of July. This alignment is a beautiful blend that is helping to make the impossible possible. End of quote. And quoted from Randy Bruner, this cosmic moon, the last of the seven mystic moons, contains an awesome set of planetary movements and aspects, which correlate very closely to the dream spell version of the Zolkin. The outer planets move very slowly and are already in position as the <clears throat> inner planets move into aspects with them. Just after galactic synchronization, on the fourth day of the magnetic moon, July 29, 2013, the planets will form an almost exact grand sextile. The grand sextile also includes two grand trines. These are all very positive and harmonious aspects, completely surrounding the planet in a sacred geometri geometric configuration. This is an awesome alignment of the planets in the solar system, encompassing the Earth and the ge geometry of the Stargate. Here is an image, and you can find the image on the, the link below, <clears throat> of this geometry. The magnetic, <clears throat> fourth of, the magnetic moon 4, July 29, 2013, is the day of the Grand Sextile. It is encoded as blue spectral hand. I dissolve in order to know, releasing and healing. I seal the store of accomplishment with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. What an affirmation for planetary healing and upliftment. This aspect comes into play one week after the full moon of the cosmic moon, which is the last of three supermoons in a row. The supermoon is when the full moon falls on the day when the moon is closest to the earth. The moon moves into position to create a grand trine with Venus and Pluto, which also completes a grand sextile around the planet earth. The grand trine with Venus Pluto and the moon signifies the possibility of transformation, Pluto, through the power of beauty, Venus, and love, the supermoon. 
there is already a grand trine in place as the moon moves in to complete the grand sextile. Mars conjunct Jupiter, trine Saturn, and Neptune. This harmonious aspect represents the possibility of our highest dreams, Neptune, being able to be reclaim spirituality from religion, Jupiter, and replace materialism with abundance and replace war with peace. The grand sextiles form from the two grand trines, trines that we've already talked about. The grand sextile forms a six-sided crystalline form around the earth with two interlocking triangles inside. This is the geomag geometric form of a stargate formed around the planet Earth by other planets in the solar system. This is the opportunity for direct download of galactic cosmic energy. The aspects of the grand sextile enhance the aspects of the grand trines. The conjunction of Jupiter and Mars is sextile to Venus, the power of beauty on one side, and the moon, the power of love, on the other side. This signals the opportunity for the power of love and beauty to overcome the power of war and religion. Then the planet Saturn, materialism, is sextile to Venus, power of beauty, on one side, and Pluto, the planet of transformation, on the other. This signals the power of beauty to transform all materialism. Then we have the planet Neptune, the power of our highest dreams. Sextile to Pluto, the planet of transformation. On one side, and the moon, the power of love, on the other side. This signifies the power of transformation to bring about our highest dreams into manifestation through the power of love. End of quote. And quoted from Bill Ballard. Something very interesting and rare is unfolding now on planet Earth on July 29th, 2013. The astrology chart shows a planetary Merkaba will be in the stars for Mother Earth and the collective of humanity who have been playing out this duality experiment, which is now coming to an end. This event is so rare that there is no previous knowledge of the possibilities, and it may go back to our first arrival in this position within the Milky Way galaxy to experience the density, which is 3D. Lower density can be looked at as, an, as even a position within the realms of this, our Milky Way galaxy. End of quote. And quoted from Ute Posega Rudel. The veil is daily becoming thinner. As the dark elements that have dominated your planet are losing their power. Fountains of light are now entering your atmosphere with a new power that has not been able to be here before, which is now penetrating your realm. End of quote. What we are accomplishing through all of our incoming energies and events is assisting humanity into the higher frequencies. Some may choose not to make this transition, and we must honor this. This part of the divine plan was inevitable and was a part of the divine intervention for planet Earth equal heart. These are Mother Earth's decrees, and the Creator has granted these to be made manifest, which overrides all other energies which are not in alignment with these truths and decrees. Quoted from N5D. Now is the time to start working in overdrive on our spiritual progression. The window of opportunity is closing, and it's imperative for those who wish to make the transition to decide whether they want to be part of the new transformation of 5D Earth or 
remain in this three-dimensional fear-laden reality. Each day, we have the opportunity to synchronize through intention, prayer, and meditation. And just to so reharder, true, true prayer is gratitude. <clears throat> so through intention, gratitude, and meditation to the cosmic source of abundant energy, which is helping to assist us in this transformation. Every light worker hopes and wishes that the entire planet will make this transformation, but negative, negativity and fear cannot coexist with peace, love, and happiness on 5D Earth. Imagine if we all graduated to 5D Earth right now. If thoughts equal manifestations, then what would happen to the persons who live in fear? His or her thoughts would immediately manifest into that fear, essentially creating a living hell. Fortunately, we exist in a period of time where thoughts are becoming manifestations <clears throat> with relative ease as we make this transition. This means the window of opportunity is still open for those who wish to be a part of the 5D Earth. The boat for 5D Earth will be departing soon. There are almost 7 billion people on this planet, and 7 billion reservations have been made. Everyone has the opportunity to be a part of this process, which only comes around approximately once every 26,000 years. Now, who's ready to go home to 5D Earth? End of quote. We are simply running out of words to use for all these energies coming into the planet now. Intense, intense, intense. And there are no seat belts. Many are also writing and sharing about all these intense energies. We will continue these intense waves of energy through August for sure. And beyond. It will only get grander and grander as we move forward. These intense waves of energy are increasing the levels of the powers who were's fear that the end of their reign of power over humanity is coming to an end forever. And there is absolutely nothing they can do about it. We have angels stationed with all of them. So rest assured, victory for the light has already been secured. Archangel Michael through Seliophin. Beloved family of light, we come to you at this most inspiring and tumultuous time on planet Earth. After the shift of the 2012 portal, the Earth continues to shift into new patterns and waves of being. The indigo generation is moving forward to accomplish the its mission of breaking down the old systems and making space for the new. There is a deep desire for peace, community, and freedom, which is manifesting now on this earth. The work that was done in the past on the higher levels to create peace and harmony is now beginning to manifest into physical form as change on the earth. This period from the spring equinox in March 2013 and into the northern summer has been a period of chaos and upheaval. The indigo energy has emerged in countries like Turkey and Brazil, and those who govern still do not fully understand the nature of the protests and the challenges. They are still thinking and reacting in the old third-dimensional way to a challenge that is coming from a different level, from young adults who are wired for the fifth dimensional <clears throat> and interconnection. Their aim is community, democracy, sharing, and change by nonviolent means. As you move <clears throat> towards the Lion's Gate of 2013, the incoming galactic energies will intensify the process of change and the influx of the new light codes for the new year. It will be as though a door of opportunity will open <clears throat> and change will rapid and far reaching in your world.
Many have asked us, what is the lion's gate and why is it named for the lion? Well, it refers in part to the fact that the sun enters into the sign of Leo at this time. And these energies are integrated <clears throat> into the earth under the energy of the lion. The feline energies of Sirius, which are fierce and proud and very royal. The gate or stargate is a period of approximately two weeks in which a vortex opens and a wave of intense light from the galactic center is received on the earth. This wave contains the new light codes for the evolution of the earth for the next year cycle and so it is known as the planetary new year. Each year between the 26th of July and the 12th of August a new wave of galactic light from the central sun would be directed towards Earth and magnified by the sun in conjunction with the helical rising of Sirius in the north. The Syrians would accept this energy into the pyramid complex at Giza and then transmit the codes into the Earth grids, allowing for a peaceful and fluid transmission of the energies. After the Giza Stargate was closed, the Earth transmissions were still mediated via Sirius, but they were not received coherently by the Earth. And so the Earth's evolution was slowed and even distorted for a while. However, in the last ten years, the Earth has ascended into the fifth dimension and has graduated to full member status of the Galactic Council. And now the Lionsgate transmissions are being received directly by the Earth and by the Council of Elders and the Earthkeeper Council and distributed via the new crystalline Earth grids. In this way, the evolution of the new Earth will follow the directions of the light codes that are received from the Galactic Council and the Great Central Sun. This process is quite new to your Earth, and while the Syrian light emissaries are standing by to assist, they are leaving the management of the incoming wave to the Earth Councils and the Family of Light. So, beloved family, what you are feeling now is this incoming wave of light as it approaches the Earth and is integrated into the Earth consciousness. The wave of light, July 26th to August 12th. Beloved family of light, this incoming wave of light will effectively recalibrate the planetary frequencies for higher levels of consciousness. This means, of course, that the old third dimensional illusion will continue to crumble and break down. To those who still hold to the third dimensional consciousness, it will seem as if chaos is breaking out everywhere and they will become paranoid and angry and despairing. To those who can see and feel with the higher consciousness, it will seem as if a new dawn is breaking and that a new way of life is rising, as of course it is. What can we expect at this time? Well, we think that the key word will be intensity. Everything will seem very intense to the point of being surreal. In your personal lives, Whatever is still remaining of your old third dimensional consciousness will need to be removed and replaced by something at a higher vibration. This may be difficult if you have an emotional attachment to the old energies. However, if you simply release and allow the changes, then they can be achieved with minimum of disruption and hardship. The idea is simply to trust the process and allow whatever needs to happen. For those of you who have activated your light bodies, it will be a simple matter to integrate the incoming light waves into your light body. At the same time, the physical body will once again be moving into DNA upgrades to allow the physical form to align with the new light codes for further evolution in the new Earth. This influx of energy may mean that many of you will feel intensely creative and will be flooded with new ideas. 
Remember, you do not have to act on all of them immediately. You are simply accepting the flow of abundance and light in this new wave. Choose what seems best to you. You may also feel physically energized and feel a desire to change your diet and exercise patterns to bring your body to a higher frequency. You may also find perhaps difficulty in sleeping and a feeling of being over-energized and anxious. Do not worry. This will pass as you integrate the incoming light wave. Important dates in July and August. These will be the key moments in this process. The 25th and 26th of July, the day out of time and the new year. <clears throat> 8th of August, the 8-8, the peak moment of the Stargate, vortex transmissions. The 8th through the 12th of August, culmination of the gate. And the 19th through the 23rd, full moon in Leo Aquarius and the integration of the new solar lunar codes. The new human angel light body template and activation for receiving it, these incoming energies. Relax and breathe. As these golden waves of light enter you, remain in your heart, remain clear. Remember that <clears throat> in your multidimensional state, remain in your center of gravity, which is in your heart. Breathe from your heart, breathe light and love from the center that is your sacred heart. Feel how that radiant light is passed around the planet on the heart grid from light workers to light warriors to all the family of light as the new earth physically manifests. And know that no matter where you are and what you are doing, you are a beacon of light and a radiant shining channel for the incoming waves of light." End of quote. And quoted from Sheldon Idols. Your reality is shifting. The dark Kabbalists panic and search for ever more desperate ways to resolve their mounting dilemmas. As we have pointed out many, many times, there is no way for them to extricate themselves from their worsening situation by using their old devious methods. The light is in the process of irresistibly taking back this realm and returning it safely to her kindly direction. This direction has so far led to a number of decisions which are permeating the light's diverse forces to prepare for a new government for the people of surface earth. Gaia is very pleased with what has been accomplished. Your ascended masters are backed up by a group of individuals dedicated to pushing the dark from power and instituting a new epic for all. A great veil of light now surrounds our beloved planet. The light is descending, bringing with it serene blessings from the heart of Aeon. The events long spoken of are to be made real, and this sacred land is to see a new way manifested upon it. We jointly bless this great happening and ready ourselves for our presentations to you. In the short time left, many wondrous things will happen. This month of July is when the freedom of both America and France was proclaimed, and so this month is now to recognize a new birth of freedom. Today we continued our message about the transformations that are, not, are now happening throughout this reality. The time comes for us to chant and celebrate your liberation. The realm of death and want is to be shifted into one of love, light, and prosperity. An epic filled with freedom and personal sovereignty. End of quote. Quoted from B.J. Riger, the expansion of the One People's Consciousness since the beginning of 2013 has been remarkable. Events unfolding to reconcile dark en energy while shining light on our essence are manifesting at a faster and faster pace. End of quote. The truth is leaking out into the mainstream media. This is a part of the disclosure process. Let it all come out now.
and may we have a smooth transition into the golden age of true equality, joy, peace, unconditional love, and true abundance. Let all be revealed now to heal and to transform planet Earth back into the Garden of Eden she truly is. Decreed by Heaven, a new epic on planet Earth Equal Heart is about to begin as a result of a series of incoming events and energies. All pre-foundational energies will, not, will now come into manifestation. All vortexes around the planet will be completely activated along with the original blueprint for this planet, which is only love. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love, the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team. We are at your service. We love you so.